No, never talk. Just go. Leave this forest. Go leave these islands. Go return from where you've been. Said as if a word never hurts a person. You go. Speak quickly, then. Your words disturb this place. No, your sort always want. This forest is not yours. This land is not yours. Go, leave. Then go, take this. They protect you if you speak true. They tear out your throat if no. Sure do like it. Need a hand? I'm on it. Yeah? Death to our enemies! 
Let's reap this whirlwind. I hear you. Happy to oblige. Real quiet now. What can I do you for? Serica. your way. If you'll spare me a minute, I'd like to perform a last rite for these poorly departed souls. Please, Watcher. Without my guidance, they might have a hard time finding the light. 
Maddie Candy. This here's a final call for all souls. Last stop for the lost. Gather round now, I'll cut you loose and haul you into the light. It's my honored duty to reap and shepherd departed souls during their journey to being reborn. With Aethys dead, me and the other Reapers gotta gather as many souls as we can. We'll keep them safe until Gon returns to Hell and can take them into his divine embrace. I'm keeping lost souls. And here. And that's all I care to say for now. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Already on it. Trouble up ahead. Yeah? Well, don't see why not. Wait, look there. Well? What do you need? See me coming.
Give me a real challenge. Consider it done. See every day. Not a problem. Sure. Wait, look there.
Give it a minute. What can I do you for?
can I do? All right. I got this. I got this. You out there? Are the beasts gone? Saved. Me and the Watcher? We're always happy to help. Governor Clario must have sent you to rescue us, no? But you do not look like one of his guards. I told you the governor does not care about us. This is all about profit. For him and the rest of the Valian. Caloste! You are here. And that is what matters. Hiding, of course. We were taking measurements of the luminous Adra when something strange began happening. Fascinating. The pillar started to dim. The ground show, and our instruments showed unusual variations. That's when those of us with a grain of sense got into the cage. The Colossus. Some kind of construct made from luminous Adra. It passed through the arena toward the pillar. Moments later, the pillar went dark, and all of our colleagues outside the cage froze. Like they turned to ash. That is when the panthers and worms showed up, started going through the tents. It was awful, but Engfirth. Some of our people are still missing in the ruins, including Odorisi, our lead researcher. It is possible he managed to hide. Most of the ruins are that way, through the door next to the ramp. If you are going below, you should take Engfirth with you. Hey, he looks just like... Engfirth knows a great many spells. At first, he even cast fire to chase away the panthers. Until the flames nearly caught one of the tents. Agrasima, I do not expect the ruins will be any safer. Many of our people remained behind, which has surely attracted more wildlife. It would be prudent to take help, as long as Engfirth is willing to go. I would be happy to assist. I don't think that's really... He has only been with us a few weeks. He is inexperienced, but he came with a glowing recommendation from an academy in Selona. 
That is surely a generous overstatement. Surely we don't have time for... A pupil of unnatural talent is the phrase I recall. It seems he was loved and regarded by almost all his instructors, though misunderstood, I gathered. By I cannot imagine why. Really, this helpful stranger surely has more important things to worry about. That's quite a... Students come from all over the world to study animancy in the Republics, especially since it is still forbidden in places like Adir. But Engfeth's story is a specialist. He was only a boy when both his parents died. He came to the Deerwood and lived at the manor of a wealthy older uncle until he also died in a fire. If that's all, then perhaps we should be off. Be careful, I'm Miko. I shall try. Thank you for your discretion. I'm certain you have many questions, but I fear they must wait until we're off this island. It seemed like a convenient story. Besides, you do have the oldest soul of anyone I know. I shall miss their company, though this only confirms that animancy is a uh, hazardous pursuit at best. That's a rather long story. The short version, for now, is that I'm gathering information on local animancy operations. But I could ask you the same. Well, there's never a dull moment with you. We can speak more freely once we're away from Port Marge. For now, let us find Odorisi. Come back, they always do. I shall follow your lead. Oh, How may I help? Yes?
How may I help? I shall. I shall be discreet. How may I help? Yes? Fools. They were unprepared for this. to you. Yeah, I got it. Trouble up ahead. Useful as a bump on a pickle. I'll get you yet.
for well oh how may I shop open in no time, as promised. to alarm you, but I'm slowly dying of boredom. Death to our enemy! Shut up, Brian. Feel pain. Nuh-uh. It -uh, didn't work. Take this! Uh. Ready when you are. Not a problem. Trouble up ahead. Trouble up ahead. No prisoners. 
What do you need? Wait, look there. Wasn't half bad. Just say the word. Leave it to me. I'm on it. We're not alone. You're mine. Yeah. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. <laughs> Todorisi. I think that's the guy we're looking for. Sure holding on to those papers tight.
you place your hand against the pillar of Luminous Audra, a dim, warm light emanates from the surface, but it feels cool to the touch. Pinpricks dance along your fingers, uncomfortable, but not painful. Find your soul in him. You concentrate, peering into the Audra's energy as you would peer into a soul. Its inner light is blinding. The Anguithin ruin fragments around you, breaking into incoherent shapes and dissolving to dust, falling into an infinite well of dark gray vapor. Even the ground itself disintegrates into nothingness. All that remains is the murky expanse of the in-between. The Audra Pillar, and a skein of golden threads rooted in the pillar that extend far off into the distance. You focus on the threads. You catch glimpses of memories, your memories, mingled among the memories of thousands of other captive souls. The filaments begin to cohere, rapidly twining into a golden cord. With a muffled crack, the cord ripples outward in a violent wave toward the endless distance. The cord undulates over a space so vast that you lose sight of the wave before it finds its end. Then, a heavy creaking, like the sound of mountains shearing under their own weight, washes through the dull gloom of the in-between. A violent force yanks you along the cord at an incredible speed. The murk of the in-between warps erratically, as though you are observing it through an ill-ground lens. Just as quickly as you were pulled forward, you stop. Suspended below a massive figure of ancient carved Audra. Like all Audra, it glimmers with energy, but the souls and memories within it are not flowing down. They churn in a vortex that burns at the heart of the statue's mass in some invisible engine. It is Aethys. The great golden cord terminates in his back sending pulses of energy throughout his limbs as they move. He walks in long, slow strides toward a brilliant pillar of Audra far in the distance. It shines even more brightly in the in-between than Aethys. From within the teeming throng of souls, dozens of eyes look out to you. Through the cord, their collective anguish and despair push at the edge of your mind. Help us! Please! Help us! Their voices echo in your mind. Somewhere within their ranks, you can feel the presence of your own soul slumbering deeper in the gyre. Aethys' stride slows and stops. His head slowly pivots until its great burning eyes are cast back along the cord. As his gaze meets yours, you feel an overwhelming rush of incredible joy mingled with profound sadness. You have sensed similar anguish in lost souls, but never with this intensity. It takes great bravery to venture through the in-between, even for a watcher. A swell of admiration radiates out from the god's heart, a force so intense that it momentarily overwhelms you. You do not need to follow me, for their sake or your own. Something beautiful is coming. Something that will save us all. A great light shines from Aethys' brow, so bright that even the souls within him flinch from the source, cowering in fear. Through the glare, you see Aethys' massive arm reach up to grasp the golden cord. The tether, carrying energy from the Audra Pillar to him, that also suspends your consciousness. Time cannot stop for any of us, Watcher. Even me. Aethys yanks on the golden cord, pulling it from his back. The cord tears into filaments that blacken and dissolve to dust. Without pause, he turns to resume his stride toward the distant pillar of Audra, shining on the boundless horizon. You hear the souls within him cry out for just a moment, before your consciousness is snapped away from them. The 
in between goes dark. For a second, you feel a mix of nausea and a sensation like spinning and falling. Then the moment ends. Your consciousness has returned to the Anguithin Arena. The world is sideways, the Audra Pillar upside down. You flinch at the feeling that you're standing on the ceiling. The disorientation overwhelms you and you collapse to your knees next to the luminous Audra Pillar. Previously dim and flickering, the pillar now glows with a strong and steady light. You touch the Audra again, but the chill and prickling sensations you felt before are gone, replaced with a comforting warmth, like the embers of a fire that has just lost its flame. You all right? Come on, we just got you back. Well, if you're not sure, now I'm worried. I've seen you commune with souls of the dead, but this looked altogether different. What happened? How I've missed your colorful retellings. What did Gon say? Is he gonna meet us? What do we do next? He charged you with a divine calling, didn't he? Just like he's done for me. How hard can it be to find... in a chain of thousands of islands? I wonder what he's after, and why he's been giving me these dreams. The things I've seen, they leave a mark on your soul. I may not know what Gon's got planned for me, but clearly he wanted me to meet you. Just say the word. Can do. Need a hand? What do you see that I can't, Watcher? All of them? Really? Watcher, we'd like to come with you. You have our thanks. We appreciate that you showed us the way to the Audra, but what if it goes dark before we reach the beyond? Can I harvest the souls now? Thank you for aiding my mission, Watcher. I just knew you'd help me if I followed you. Thank you, Watcher. Ready to brawl? You better run! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
to me. I'll go on ahead. Let's see what's in here. That'll do it. Yeah? Not a problem. Sorry, friend. We can't. What this is? Already on it. Seems fair. doing the job. Huh. 
Slippery devil. Death to Aaron! Shut her behind. See why not. See why not. Found it. Not a problem. What do you need? Of course. Already on it. Is a bump on a pick. <clears throat> me not a problem
I'd carry more if I could, but I can't. Sorry, friend. I hear you. We're lucky the cage worked. We will remain here. We should Proceed build more of these cages, I think. To be killed after what all this. Mess. I cannot imagine. Or do you skulk around in the dark? Do you not sleep? By Nagati's light, spare me the attention of outsiders. May Amira's winds blow sweet. I see. Governor Clario would call it superstition. I know you speak truth. Are there worse omens than to hear that the god of rebirth has brought death upon your people? I thank you for delivering this news. I will tell their families, and we will mourn them together. But there are enough Mataru here to defend the village. You are safe. Better than it may seem. 
Clario can be reasoned with, especially if one approaches him with coin in their pocket. Yes, one of the old titans, say the priests. Aethys. Is it redemption you seek, then? You risk much to chase a god across the sea. The Dawn Stars, too, wish to meet this god. What if he does not wish to be found? Fancy a look at the wares, my friend? Cozy spot, right? Not much competition, apart from the basket lady. At best, goods on the act. A basket, sir? To carry all sorts of things. Mama brings me stuff from her work sometimes. Real old The stuff. moment the ship arrives, I will take my family back to Ostia. on the far side of the world. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? Sure thing. 